We are here at Autobox Japan. This is a massive parts store for Japanese cars. This is nothing like what we have in the US, so I'm really excited to go check it out. Autobox is right near the main strip of Osaka where everyone goes for great food, and it is beautiful out here. The entrance is similar to Up Garage, as seen in our previous video. Very overwhelming branding. Oil. All of the oil cans are in like tin cans, which is probably better for the environment than what we do. So far, this is just it's pretty much like a Japanese O'Reilly's. Probably bigger. I know some of them actually have like cool aftermarket parts. Not gonna lie, it's a little underwhelming at the moment. Let's see if I find something interesting. Oh, wait, this is actually kind of interesting. We have a carpet section, and what caught my eye is this checkered thing. And I wonder if they have it for all cars. Like that black one's pretty good. Okay, I think we're getting a little closer to some aftermarket stuff. With and suspension. I seem to go through this whole store and this is all that I saw. I thought there would be more aftermarket stuff. This looks promising. I'm hoping this is the auto box I've been seeing online. <laughs> no, it isn't. What? This is just a parking lot. Okay, that that is super unfortunate. For some reason, they don't have any cool sections. Oh, the walk of shame. What? I'm so confused. Huh. I've looked up that there is a auto box and a super auto box. Maybe the super auto box is more extravagant and they have more enthusiast parts. This seems to be a store for regular automotive stuff, not um, aftermarket. I do see a 7-Eleven right over there. Let's go ahead and see if they have a smoothie. Come on, they better have a smoothie. Let's do this. They didn't have a smoothie. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do in this area. Since I'm already here, I took the train here. I wanna make use of that train ride. Quick stop to bite before we head off to the next location. Typical meal in Japan, cheap and hopefully delicious. We are now here at the city of Kobe. It's about an hour away from where we just were in Osaka. This time we're gonna try out Super Auto Box. I am not sure of the differences between Auto Box and Super Auto Box, but from the research I found out, there is an A-Pit Auto Box that is very extravagant and I want to visit it, but it's in Tokyo, which is a couple hours away. Let's go ahead and hope that we have better luck this time and that there's cool car parts that I was looking for. This city is actually pretty cool. There's a nice bridge overlooking. Oh, and there's a used car lot. Let's go take a look at that. Oh my God, guys. I just found something crazy. R34 in the wild. Oh my god. We are car shopping. That is our first experiencing seeing an R34 in the wild, or basically any aftermarket cool car. And that was sick, and I got to catch him when he left. Hopefully, there's AC in there. <sighs> I could already tell this one is cooler, oh my god. Look at all these wheels. And they got TVs. Oh, let's go inside. Oh my god. It's such an overload of stimulation. It's 
tire and wheel motorsports over here. Oh, work wheels. Ah, okay. All right. BBS. Super cool seeing all these brands that I look up to being in the store. We definitely do not get this in the US. Oh, this is like I'm shopping online. Look at this, they got lug nuts, racing lug nuts from different companies like Work or Lays. Oh, way better than the last. Oh my god, guys, guys, they have moon eyes here. What? I came to the right place. Oh my god. Alright, well, I think I have to get something now. Oh, <laughs> it's a whole section. <laughs> oh. Wow! I'm gonna have to come back to this section and get something. Even though there's AC, it is hot. Oh, okay. This is like the tail light section. They have some current cars like the FRS one. I would doubt they have like vintage Japanese ones. Oh my. Got some exhaust. I'm assuming these ones are made in Japan. Some aftermarket brands. Very cool. Oh, they have bride accessories. Oh, Nismo. Nissan and Nismo. Oh, okay. You guys need to take a look at these. Look at that steering wheel. That is probably worth some money. That's the one that TJ Hunt actually just got where it has that cover on it. Oh, yeah. Some Toyota car parts. The GR, TRD things that you probably would have a difficult time finding in the US. Wow. New gun for you guys, Honda guys. Oh, so I could sit in them? No way. No way. Okay, let's pick a seat. I personally like bucket seats, like fixed ones. I don't know if I could do this, or I don't know if there's any signs that say I can't, but I am. Oh, that is comfortable. They have Blitz. I didn't even know Blitz made calipers. Oh. And their suspension. Okay. Different coilover setups you could get. Greddy products. Like you get a shift now that everyone gets right there. I love how they have it for different cars and you can see kind of the specifics of like what this GR86 one is, like the size and everything. HKS products, oh these are actually pretty cool. All these stickers. After the last place I was at, which is Auto Box, regular Auto Box, I thought I was gonna be let down again, but I was completely wrong. I'm going down every single aisle just to make sure I don't miss anything interesting that I can show you guys. This is really cool. So you could buy Nardis here or Momo. We got brand new ones for me right there. Right behind me is all the filters you would ever need. If you want Becky gauges, they're right here. Oh, they're still kind of expensive for gauges. <laughs> the endless brake section. Look at those. Get pads for probably any car here. And you have different options. This one looks like a pretty cool brand too. Okay, I got the gist of it now. So to my right, that is pretty much identical to the 
other store that we are in, but over here is all like the cool lifestyle enthusiast section. Uh, and there's this room too with all the wheels you could even think of. Let me try to find if there's one that I actually like in this section. Any brands that I find familiar. There's Wet Sport. I've seen them around. Okay, I see some Anki, Volk. Turn around. That's a saw. Huh? Oh wow, that's kind of interesting. Is this center line? Huh. I wonder if those are new or not either. Wait, you have Minervas? <laughs> that's crazy. I had a set of Minervas on my old G. That is unbelievable. The Anki section. I've never seen these in person, but they look actually pretty cool. These remind me of the R32 wheels I have. I was debating on going like a double staggered setup, but I couldn't find a wheel that's similar enough to not look weird. And the curves of the spokes is similar, not the same, and the color is almost there. I'm a pretty simple guy and almost went with the TEs, but I think I am gonna pick these. Let me know if you agree. You can even get merchandise from either Raise or Work. Ooh. Got the center caps. Ah. Ah, this is sick. I wish I could bring it home with me. I see a GT2 RS. Toy car. What? Oh, this is so sick. I might just have to get them. Well, they have your, what is this, a 997 GT3 RS? It's a dot two, yeah. That is actually really unique and it's super detailed on both of them. Tone tools. I'm assuming that it's a little more quality than the other ones that weren't in a display case, so I gotta keep that in mind. I wonder if it's better than Snap-on. In the TRD section, I actually see Tone and TRD collab with some keychains, so they have to be good if they're pairing up with TRD. Back in the Moon Eye section, it's time to get something. And I believe I want a bag with some goodies in the bag too. One of these. And that. I gotta get some dice. I don't have room for the big one, so I'll just get some mini dice. Now I got something to put my goodies in. I almost missed this. HKS has a a uh, merchandise section as well. Oh, look at that. Oh. That sticker is cool. Even more interesting, not just these little turtles, but a mini Nardi. Oh my god. Dude, ah, do I need it? I guess I need it. I'm telling you, I'm pretty good at shopping. This whole trip, I really haven't gotten much but what I needed, which is food. When it comes to stores like these, once in a while. I did come for one thing and I'm leaving with like a bunch. I need a phone holder. This may foreshadow what's coming next. I think it's time. I spent enough money. Right. Right. I, really I was in here longer than I expected and I spent 
10 times as more than I wanted it to. <laughs> but everyone was nice in there. It was an amazing time. So I highly recommend Super Auto Box. And I'm sure I do recommend the regular Auto Box. I probably just went to the wrong one. Anyways, I hope you genuinely enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.